welcome back to Rosie Wrestling. I'm Massa. And I'm Safe. And today we are going to a local indie show called MCW to meet some of our personal favorites like Shawn Michaels, who's my personal favorite. I'm rocking the Showstopper t-shirt and Scott Hall and we're over the moon excited. Um, we were here a few months ago to meet Ric Flair and our first time we actually met Goldberg, which is the same event, Tribute to the Legends. Um, we're actually going to go to the indie show because it's always so much fun and we're both extremely excited. Uh, are you feeling a little nervous? <laughs> um, not really nervous. I'm obviously just like really excited to meet HBK, uh, one of my favorites. And uh, Scott Hall should be a cool experience oh, yeah. as well. Uh, so it should be pretty cool and you know, just being around wrestling fans, I think it's a pretty cool vibe. Something you know we don't really get to experience often. Just went to Wendy's, got some food, and it's about four o'clock and the show starts at seven and we have three hours to kill. So we're just chilling in the car. It's actually really nice weather out. So Yeah, so we met um ended up meeting Shawn Michaels, uh Scott Hall. Uh we actually ended up meeting Scott uh Xbox, Xbox. which wasn't planned, but we were just like, you know, had let's cash screw it. and I was like, Yeah, why not? Um and we got so a lot of things signed. So first of all Mm -hmm. We got Scott Hall signed this figure. And Razor Ramon. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yes, very nice. Shawn Michaels got, he signed this one. And the cool story about this one is the first time we went to MCW, uh, we saw this and I was just <laughs> instantly captivated. That's my, fir uh, my favorite um, Shawn Michaels attire and I asked how much it was and the guy didn't know so he went and he was like oh I'm gonna check for a second turns out it was $15 and online it's like $45.50 so that was definitely a steal it was a steal and it's like a, one of the Jack specific figures mm -hmm. so um we we'll definitely robbed that guy <laughs> but he was actually here today I don't think he yeah. remembered us <laughs> and then we got I actually bought the pop right. at the convention but I wanted a third thing to be signed, and this is Razor right here. Yeah, because we did the bad guy combo, so we both took the picture. I get one autograph, and you got two. And then Massa got this picture. Look at that, and it has Ra he signed it as Razor and Scott, so. <laughs> Pretty dope, and then Massa got this. Ooh, this is like the favorite thing. We showed you this before, but now it's actually signed by Sean. Yep. It was my birthday gift, and just, oh. So, so dope, and we will put the pictures up right now. But meeting them was just so fun, such a cool experience. When you have met Sean first, you got the autographed yeah, one. Yeah, I was just like talking about him, uh, talking to him about his hair. Mm -hmm. I just basically told him, like, oh, have you had any comments on it yet? And he's like, yeah, some people like it. And I was like, well, it's truly end of an era. <laughs> uh, he was a cool guy for sure. Yeah. We obviously got to meet him twice because of the whole photo and the uh, autograph thing. Scott Hall, we actually saw him, like, walking in the building. Right, and we, we asked like, him, like, like, hey, how what's are up? You? And he's like, what's up, guys? 
Um, and or then, um, Sean, actually, I couldn't say it. I like, I, I got so flustered because he's my favorite, and I just, I couldn't. So I didn't say to him anything at first. Um, but yeah, Scott Hall came in, and then X Pac came, literally like brushed past us with his little dog Lula. Um, or so there was actually the MCW guys like. Um, uh, Robbie, he was actually the um, tag champ. Yeah, he's one of the MCW tag champs. He was like making conversation with us. He had like, like we that. had like four interactions with him. It was hilarious. And then there's also the Rock and Bowl Express, who are another an MCW stable. Yeah, he was wearing like an Arab type scarf. So I actually asked him if he was Arab, like rep. <laughs> um, uh, and then when we met X Pac, <laughs> uh, yeah. he, uh, he asked us for our names. He Massa obviously said her name was Massa. I said, my name is Safe. And he's like, nice to meet you, Steve. <laughs> I can't. And I didn't correct him or anything because I was like, he probably doesn't care. But still, I thought that was funny. I could, um, I couldn't like. Oh my! And I forgot my phone. Oh my god! I'm so stupid. Yeah, they took the picture with her phone, and then she forgot it at the table, so we had to like run back and get it. <laughs> it was not a big deal, but even like the guy was like, "Yeah, you're a little bit nervous." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> like, yeah. Overall, though, it was a really fun experience, and obviously the show. We still have the show uh, right. to come. I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully, next time, you know, we get to meet some other cool guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, like last time, we actually didn't get autographs this is the first time we got a kevin nash autograph because he was like two hours late because of his flight delayed um so they gave that to us for free but like it's actually cool like especially the figures and stuff because you have a huge collection and like thing we have a lot of merch so just getting them signed by some of our favorites totally like it's a dub <laughs> anyways we'll see you guys at the show Bye, boys and girls it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you one half of the most tremendous tag team in all of wrestling. He is a former MCW heavyweight champion, the first ever MCW tag team champion, former NWA world tag team champion, former WWF Tag Team Champion and one half of your current Tag Team Champions of the Universe he is Headbanger Mom. Anytime you want another shot of 10 pounds of gold, it's all yours. One minute. Nick Aldis is the real deal. That's why he is the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. event what a show that was so Fantastic amazing show. like oh my goodness yeah uh that main event i think was like i think his name is brandon scott or the semi-main sorry i think his name was brandon scott one of the mcw guys one against nick aldis for the nwa world heavyweight title and honestly they put on the match of the night and i'm not really too familiar with nick aldis i know he's really good that's why he's the nwa right. champion but they really put on a great match it was uh, like the person next to me actually knew a lot about MCW and he's you know a longtime fan and he was telling me that he's like their Daniel Bryan he is you know Brandon Scott yeah, yeah. Brandon Scott and Nick Aldis is amazing and it was just an honor to see that title be defended and 
it was and it the was main amazing. event was just Ooh. awesome you know we got to like really get into it because we were they were fighting in the crowd they fought where we were actually sitting at one point. exactly so it was honestly like such a cool experience mm-hmm. overall and like this i'd give this day like a 10 out of 10. Right. Yeah, MCW, some like top-notch stuff. You uh, should definitely check them out if you're in the DMV area. Yeah, a lot of respect to like the whole. I mean, we are we are in like the golden age of the independents, mm-hmm. so uh, it's cool that we you know get to see these guys wrestle. Uh, but yeah, overall, fantastic day. So that's it for the vlog, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Rosie Wrestling. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>